Welcome back. So today we're going to do a quick overview of the Blue Sun Hybrid Grid Tie Inverter. So this Blue Sun, it's a 48 volt split phase and that's what we required on our farm to hook into our electrical panel. And you'll find in most Canadian homes you'll need a split phase inverter if you want to do a whole house battery backup, which we want to do on the farm. So the blue, the blue sun fits the bill for us nicely. This also gives us uh, the other requirement. Now we've had grid tie here for a number of years, but the problem with grid tie, in my opinion, is we have no battery. When the grid goes down, our solar system goes down. So now, with the blue sun, it has a 48 volt battery pack. Now we're using a 48 volt power wall so to speak, where it's all in one container, and uh, we'll look at batteries later. But the Blue Sun, it utilizes the, uh, the new Life Po 4 batteries, charges them at a higher charge rate that they require, and uh, it also has a, a number of other features that we like in the solar business. It allows us to pull more energy in for future expansion. So let's say we want to get an electric car and, and we want to move forward with where electricity is going. Uh, the Blue Sun allows us to expand up to 12,000 watts. It has four MPPTs and each MPPT can handle 500 volts. So it's about 12, 300 watt panels on each string. So you can put a lot of energy on the, on the Blue Sun and it'll distribute that and it, with the excess energy, you know, if you're not using the energy on, on here on the farm, and our batteries are all charged up in summertime, then we're going to sell the excess energy to the grid. And it comes complete with the monitors, the CT monitors that hook onto your grid lines. The installers, the solar guys will know a little bit more about this. It also comes completely equipped, or you can't see from the video there, but over on the side here there's a button. It's an RSD button that's a rapid shutdown. And that allows us to, in this panel here, it's enclosed, but we can wire in remote rapid shutdown. So let's say the fire inspector wants ones outside, then that rapid shutdown could be wired outside. We are going to uh, illustrate here, coming on upcoming videos, how to interface this to fire sensors. So not any old smoke alarm do we want shutting all our power down, but if there's a heat sensor and a smoke sensor, then both technologies will cross zone and, and shut the power down to the home for safety reasons. There's also a shutoff breaker for the MPPTs on the side and, and these things are invaluable to installers. So without getting close up, we'll, uh, our next video segment will be close up. We'll take a look at the screen here. Um, I want to talk briefly about some of the work modes. There's several work modes that this thing can run in, and uh, we have it running in uh, work mode. Uh, it's a self-use work mode. But you can have this as a battery backup. Let's say you had no solar panels, but you wanted to use it as a UPS. You could use this as such. If you lived in a province where you pay more money for power off the grid at certain times of the day, this can be set up so that you do not buy power at those high rates so that only you would buy power to charge your batteries and maintain your system at a lower priced time so it has time modes so there's different modes of use that this can be programmed to so it's a it's an advanced inverter and uh, we would recommend that you use a, an electrician installer that's familiar with putting these types of things in so that's about it for now, and uh, the next video segment we'll take the cover off, we'll take a look inside, and then we'll take a close look at the screen.